Evidently, Destiny 2 has been dying, but Bungie is slowly resurrecting it, so I'm going to give my ideas on what I believe Destiny could be. Welcome one and all, my name is BB2Invest, and today I am going to be explaining how I would change Destiny 2 for the future. I am aware that some of these concepts will end up being unrealistic, but I enjoy sharing my concepts with others. This is because I like having the concept on the table for how it would work. This video is the overview for this series, explaining all the concepts I have, including weapon system overhauls and the return of Destiny 1 content. The way I would make Destiny 2 would be more in-depth than Destiny 1. Ideally, I would want it between Destiny 1's depth and World of Warcraft's depth, which is choices in how I can load up my Guardian with my own unique builds and there is a grind to level things up. Although there would be hardcore aspects, there would also be lighter, easier content that isn't as challenging. So I have some blanket changes to make Destiny 2 feel more fun and make the players feel more powerful. Destiny will make the return of Destiny 1 values for guns in the Crucible. Guns will be defined in their ranges and will perform well in their optimal ranges and while outside of their preferred ranges the guns will underperform. For example, submachine guns will perform well in close to medium ranges while auto rifles will be optimal in all medium ranges. All ability cooldowns will be changed back to Destiny 1 values. Also, all Destiny 1 content is returned from Destiny 1, as well as refurbishing that content. Next, damage buffs for players and vulnerability nerfs to the health bars of yellow bar bosses will be back and work as they worked in Destiny 1. This includes tether and melting point to optimize damage. Also, PvE and PvP balancing will be split, because it would stop one Crucible nerf from breaking that gun in the raid and vice versa. There will be changes to nearly everything for Destiny 2, and I'm being rather ambitious with my ideas, because I tend to think big, and I will probably be changing nearly everything about Destiny 2, from the raid to the armor system. Now, I'm going to briefly go through the multiple changes I would make to Destiny 2. First, I would overhaul the Destiny weapon system, with 4 slots instead of the current 3. You would have your primary weapon, that is your main kinetic weapon of choice, and it takes white ammo bricks. Then there would be special weapons, which were built for specific situations, and they take green ammo bricks. The last of the base Destiny weapons is the Heavy Weapon, which is a high damage weapon that gets limited ammo and takes purple ammo bricks. The last weapon type is the Juggernaut Weapon, which is an extremely powerful weapon that always puts the player in third person, as well as taking red ammo bricks. The second change I would make is all endgame content would have four ways to play. There would be a simple mode for people who want to learn the raid or don't have time to put all the time into a regular raid. Then there is a regular raid which has more difficulty than simple mode and is the standard for raiding. Then there is the heroic mode which provides gameplay change to the raid making things more difficult than the normal raid. Lastly there is the prestige raid which makes geometric changes to the raid and changes to the mechanics even more. As well as adding a whole new encounter to that raid. This concept could also be applied to nightfall strikes, public events, and maybe even story missions. I would also add new game modes, such as sieges, which are 4 player activities, and crusades, which would be 8 to 12 player activities. Another thing I would add is the return of all locations from Destiny 1, and also many new locations. These places would provide beautiful and unique experiences to the player because of what you can do on those places. I would also make orbit more interactive, making your ship appear as a movable object that you could move to a planet and then choose where you go. The next change I would make is I would overhaul the UI and make it more user friendly, as well as adding new tabs to the menu to see other important information, like record books, bounties, and quests, as well as making the return of artifacts. I would also add new rarities for items, including an epic rarity, an elite rarity, and a mythic rarity. On top of this, I would create an abundance of new elements to diversify the gameplay and make enemy races, as well as making your guardian feel more powerful with the specific modifiers. Lastly, I would introduce three whole new classes to the game, being an elixir character or a fallen who was blessed by the light. The other two would be a regular tower foot soldier who doesn't exactly have the light's powers, and a red legion soldier who gained the light as Gaul died as a monster of the light, but was blessed by the light instead of stealing it like Gaul was trying to do which creates a new guardian. All these concepts and more will get their own videos, as I will make videos for the concepts featured in this video, as well as new concepts I form as this series evolves. 
All these concepts may seem vague, and that is because they will be further explained in other videos that will go in-depth for these concepts. Also, all of Destiny's official changes will be incorporated in this series as to not detract from what Bungie has built. As a whole, I feel that Destiny 2 would benefit from these changes, but I understand that most of these changes and additions are too grandiose for Bungie to create. But I still think that this is where Destiny 2 should be going. I'd like to thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, write a comment, or even subscribe to the channel as I will have new videos in the near future between my friend Dual Blades and me. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a comment telling me how I can improve the videos and make them better for next time. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later.